Hey guys, Brian from Snowwalker Bushcraft, and today I, uh, I had a request to do a tinder bundle video um, on how I construct a tinder bundle when I'm doing a bow drill. So what I want to do is I want to go through that. I want to show you my construction of the tinder bundle, what I've collected and what I'll use. And then I'm going to go into a down and dirty bow drill demo, go through with it as best as I can. Um, they are time consuming to try to, you know, um, show somebody correctly how to do one in 15 minutes or less. So I'm going to readjust the camera, show you the, uh, the coal as it's being made. And then I have to readjust the camera again and put it in the tinder bundle and hopefully blow it into flame. Uh, whether I do or not, that remains to be seen because primitive fire at best is difficult. Uh, we got some good conditions for it today. There's low humidity. Uh, it's pretty warm out about 67 degrees right now so uh, stick with me and uh, don't go away okay so for my tinder bundle when I'm doing a bow drill or actually any primitive fire if I can if I have the materials okay I like to set it up so that I have less chance of failure I'm gonna take whatever I can find out there and I'm gonna use it I'm gonna put it to its advantage most of these items here will work pretty much on their own as a tinder bundle but if I have the available resources and I know where they are and I can collect enough of it why wouldn't I go ahead and put together a nice tinder bundle in preparation I think on the tinder bundle is important because it's the first major point in our fire so I collected some dried grasses and basically I've just fashioned them into a bird's nest. If I could find a bird's nest in the wild then I'm gonna use that just as well. So I have some cedar bark. It's nice, it's resinous. I'm gonna put that in there. Let that work. Okay. This is some old old um, yeah um, goldenrod thank you uh, which I've had and I actually minced it up and I put that in there it's good for a coal extender okay yellow birch okay I'm gonna use this give it to time to work on Okay, and let it go from there. You can stick that in there. Here's some white paper birch. You know, again. Okay, we want to increase our chances by every stretch of the imagination to construct it. All right, so. All right, so that's going to be the construction of my tinder bundle. All right, in my bow drill set, okay, I got two spindles, I have my handhold, I have a fireboard. And a second fireboard. I always carry a piece of leather. Uh, what I use this leather for is I also use this for the transference of the coal. And I always have something that I can put the coal into and I don't have to worry about it. Granted, you may say it's another thing to carry, but you know what? It adds a little extra protection between the ground and my coal. So, here's my fire board. It's roughly the width of my thumb. My spindle is a little bit bigger than my thumb. All right. I like to keep it in that size range. This one's right there on my thumb. 
okay, and my bow. If you notice, the string of my bow is slack. And I'm going to show you why that is in a moment. A lot of times when you use paracord, this does have a tendency to stretch. Okay, and you have to keep tightening your string and tightening your string. What I do when I'm setting this up is I put in my spindle, I wrap it once, and I wrap it twice. Okay, that's known as the Egyptian bow jaw. Okay, what it does is it actually helps. First of all, it'll tighten this up. You don't have to worry about retightening it. And also, it keeps your spindle from flying out. Okay, a lot of times your spindle will fly out of the socket. Sometimes it'll break the socket, or if it's a rainy day, if your spindle goes flying out and it hits the damp ground, it's not going to do it any good. So, that's the reason why. I put that in there. Okay, with the bow drill, you definitely want to have a nice, stable, inline platform. Okay, my hearth is off the ground. Okay, I've put a piece of bark down, and I also have this piece of buffalo hide. Okay, you want to make sure that you have a stable enough platform. You put your spindle into the socket. Okay, in my socket I actually put some fern uh, just as a lubricant up on the top. Okay, you're going to lock your wrist into your shin and everything should be in line. Okay, now, put your spindle away, don't let it hit the ground. Now, this is what I want to show you. Everybody rushes right here. Okay, now, no reason to rush. No reason. Okay. This is why I like this. Let's just move our coal. Into our tinder bundle. Okay, again, we have a lot of time. Let it work.
And there you go. So, as you can see, blowing it in is a little difficult, okay, and you have to persevere with it, you have to baby it, and you have to take your time with it. So, I hope this helps out. Uh, snap on John, uh, that's the best I could do for you right now. I know it was fast, it was quick, it was down and dirty, but uh, there you have it. So this is Brian from Snowwalker Bushcraft. And thank you for your views, thank you for your comments, and until the next one, take it easy.